Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for today's video. Um, yesterday we went through the AutoCAD UCS, and now we're going to look at the Advanced Steel UCS. Now, Advanced Steel does use the UCS a fair bit. Um, it is a way to set up um, the, I guess, kind of, for want of a better term, you know, setting up the origin of where things are going to be uh, modelled and drafted. So you can see here, I've got a, a, a just a column in here, um, and if we wanted to do a rectangular plate, you can see how my UCS is set to the bottom. So it doesn't matter where I snap to, it is going to set it to there. So if I wanted to draw a plate on the end of this, then I can do the rectangular plate command and set it up there. And you can see that's where it draws it. And then we can obviously just adjust the positioning uh, and work out where we want to place it. Now, um, there is also, so if we go to the objects, so what it talks about is when you hover your mouse over it, you can see there it says, the last line is uh, using the selected center the, in the XY plane of the current UCS. Okay, so hover your mouse over um, the the tool buttons here, and then it'll tell you like what it's doing. So same thing. If I wanted to do a folded plate, um, if I wanted to draw another plate coming up this way again, because my UCS is set here, you can see what it, what Advanced still is doing. It's putting it. To that level there. So if you were to do the, the fold to plate command, you need to, to bring your, your UCS over to the corner and when you do move the UCS you can set the X and Y and now that I have this, I can now run my plates so at 90 degrees to one another and then I can come over and do the folded plate command and then have a fold. Okay. So, same thing goes for, uh, let's say we wanted to do a um, plate, or for whatever reason, on the end of this column. Okay, and then adjust the positioning. So if I reset the UCS, and I wanted to bolt these two together now, what we're going to get is an error. So I can just adjust from here, and you can see see what it's doing. See how it's set it up in the UCS. So I can't really bolt anything because it's not going to to let me because all of these uh, values are all out of whack. And you can see what it's trying to do. Okay. So again, you need to to move your UCS, and because I've moved it, you can see Advanced Steel or AutoCAD if you want to call it is letting me adjust where the x-axis is. So the x-axis is going off to the uh, right of the screen and my y is going up the screen. And now that I've got that set there, I'm going to switch to wireframe just so I can see uh, the two corners. And I wanted to bolt this corner to this corner. And you can see that my bolts now line up in the x-y plane. So when I do adjust these, so if, I, if I put them on a 35 uh, offset, and then switch back to conceptual, you can see we've got that there. Okay, so for, for advanced steel, it's quite important to get you used to knowing uh, how to set up the UCS. And if you have a look at, so I'm just going to close this so I can show you how to load it up again. So in the middle of the home tab, you've got the advanced steel tool palette button. And then about halfway down, so it's the first, second, third, fourth button, it talks about the UCS. So this is almost, well, I, mean, I guess it's basically the AutoCAD commands um, for a UCS. So if I reset things, so you can, <coughs> excuse me, come back and reset it back to the world. But we've also got UCS at object. So I can turn around and, and set up the UCS on that object. And you can see it's changed it to be to that face. So now if I wanted to do another plate command, you can see that we can adjust, uh, set it up to be on that face there. And you can see if I switch to, to the front view, you can see the UCS is set to um, the flange of that beam. So then that way you can 
Uh, if you've got something that's sort of at a funky angle, you can use this UCS add object command uh, to reset it. And then another one is, um, let's have a look at, so if I set it to here, and I've just got it on the edge of this plate just so I can show you. So there's a rotate button. So now, because I've got the UCS set here, if I rotate it about the X, you can see my UCS just rotates about the X. So now that we've got our X and Y in this vertical sort of plane, I can then come off and do the plate command and then create folder plate off that edge there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I move the UCS again out to here, so use the rotate Y, so you can see it rotates it in the Y. Okay, so if I wanted to do another one off this side, Okay, and then we can create a folder plate in there. Okay, so have a look here as well. This is very helpful. I've, I've, I've been using uh, Advanced Seal for a few years, but this, these sort of tools I haven't used a lot in the UCS with Advanced Steel, but in more recent times, because I am doing more steel, is it still detailing jobs as well. Um, this UCS command has been very, very helpful. I find it personally easier just to place the UCS on a corner that I need and then use these rotate commands as well to rotate it to uh, the face that I need to. Okay, so I think I'll leave it for now. Just get into Advanced Steel and look at the UCS. If you are a new Advanced Steel user, um, you will find the, the UCS command is used a lot. Um, and you do have to get used to it because otherwise making up um, these objects without moving the UCS is going to be extremely difficult and time consuming and you will find that the UCS uh, command will help you a lot so hopefully if it's been informative for you thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked the video thumbs down if you didn't but please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos and I will see you tomorrow for some plant 3D uh, and the UCS usage or lack of uh, in my personal experience but uh, yeah I'll see you tomorrow see you later